ended. And it's going to be basically the same deal as yesterday. I got a little bit more prepared today. Um, it is episode 109 today, 109, and we, are, as usual, will wait for a few minutes to let people get over from the Ramsey Show YouTube video. Um, what do I normally type in here? The, and again, I need to have this, I can just cut and paste it in there. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Um, what is it? Um... Oh, RamseyCoach.com forward slash Coach Steve Money. There we go. Um, forgot to put, does the schedule a free Financial coaching consultation slash assessment. Whoops, got ahead of myself. I don't want to do that. Email. Anything, Coach Steve Money. It's right up here too. At gmail.com. We are going right. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see if it shows up on my page here. Okay. Yeah. So we're gone. There it is. And also, donation. Tina Share. Yes. Donation. Uh, you can donate at paypal.me forward slash Coach Steve Money. Or you can just log into your PayPal account, click on Send Money, and put in my email address, Coach Steve Money at gmail.com. All those links are at the top of the chat. And so, handy, handy links for you guys. Gotta wipe my glasses off. Actually, um, the way I redid my desk, I can. I'm pretty much good without them. Tina shares. Glad you checked in me. I would not have started. I would have started at six thirty if you had not not had gotten into me, saying you got the message. But yeah, my boss sent me home early, and so it doesn't have to be late, obviously. Still have not fixed my chair. What up, AJ? What up, Flesh? Yeah, it's still a little better on that monitor. I still don't have the three monitors. All right, we need to get going here. on my glasses. All right. What up, Maddie Bags? His channel is the Blackstone Rookie. He cooks things on his Blackstone Griddle Grill. Check him out. I call him Maddie Bags. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll. Oh. So, um, did not get copyright claimed, so, uh, let's just, let's just all sing together again, shall we? Just need to figure out when I... Oh, man, it's 
Starts with step one. A thousand buck emergency fund. Step two, you pay off all your debt. Except mortgage, we don't do that yet. You guys sing along? So pay off your consumer debt. Every single, single one of the charges, from smallest to largest, that should start a little bit sooner. A full emergency, full emergency fund, fund of expenses, expenses. they gazelle intensive. His name is Dave Ramsey, and this is his plan. I hope to meet him, I admire the man. I messed up in my life, but these steps have made it right. That's why I coach, and why I host my YouTube show. If you don't like results you're getting now, you should do the baby steps. And if you want to have financial peace, then you should do Dave's baby steps. Step, Step four, four is when you can take a breath. Go less gazelle and invest. Step five is to save for your kids. No student loans at all for college. Six, pay off your home. Step seven, build your wealth and don't keep it all yourself and live like nobody else. Now you get to live large, now you get to give large. His name is Dave Ramsey and this is his plan. And I hope to meet him, I admire the man. I've messed up in my life, but these steps have made it right. That's why I coach and why I host my YouTube show. If hey. you don't like results, you get it now. Oh, my bad. You should do the baby steps. If you want to have financial peace, you should do these baby steps. Yeah, I thought you weren't guys weren't seeing the video. Because there weren't enough tabs up there, but I'm looking at the same thing you are, and I only see the few. Because it's a video. You can schedule a free consultation assessment at RamseyCoach.com forward slash Coach Steve Money. Steve is correct. You can do that. All right. Let's go back down here. Um, and, oh, this is where we go. Um, it is a Steve along. Uh, this is where we say, oh, after the ba ba da ba, I was supposed to go ba 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 da ba da ba da ba 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 da ba live from Columbus, OH. It's the Ramsey Show after show show brought to you by Tina Share, the Queen of Sheba. And here we talk about the Ramsey Show, the Ramsey Show YouTube chat, and the people in it, and all things financial. Whatever else I want to talk about, I'm your host. Coach Steve Money, I'm a certified Ramsey Solutions financial coach, also a Ramsey preferred financial coach, and you can schedule that free consultation with me uh, by going to RamseyCoach.com forward slash Coach Steve Money. You can email me about that or anything else, anything on my channels. If you have a financial question for me to answer on this show, you can email as well, Coach Steve Money at gmail.com. You can also add me on the Grom and the Twitter uh, at uh, Coach Steve Money No Spaces and donations uh, paypal.me forward slash Coach Steve Money. Email is right there, Coach Steve Money gmail.com. And let's check in with the chat. Uh, <laughs> Mod did not say who the hosts are going to be tomorrow, I don't think. Flash might know. Steve was singing with Steve. Karaoke with Steve. Steve along. You got it. 
He was like the guy from Jurassic Park. Which guy is that, sir? Clay. Oh, interacting with himself. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Where he pricks it, pretending to have his finger pricked to get the blood sample. So they, they can show how they clone DNA. Yeah. Absolutely. Can okay, I wait for uh, Jurassic World 3? It's going to have both casts in it. Jurassic Park movies and the new ones. Uh, thanks for the IOs. Uh, let's see. It's not, not Camel, not Dave Ramsey, so yep. Ken and uh, Dr. D, maybe. Alright, and uh, in case you guys thought you were done uh, singing, uh, today's Ramsey Show hosts were Dr. John Deloney, friend of the after show and author of Redefining Anxiety. And AJ, do you have the other lyrics, sir? Did you make, did you write more verses for me? If not, we'll just uh, do these then. Last time I did it, I started it right there. Ooh, I'm going back to D, as you can see. But his parents named him John Deloney. Ooh, he's got two PhDs, two more than me. Plus, he's got some other suits. John Deloney never gonna stop giving advice. Such a brilliant mind always roots it out. Has the clout of the healing kind. John, 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 woo! J -j -j John. because AJ didn't provide them yet. Uh, also co-hosting was uh, George Camel, uh, host of the Fine Print. Uh, hour, close your ears, leave the room or whatever. <laughs> Tina, <laughs> the Queen of Shiva, close your ears. I'll give you time. I'll give you, here's a real warning, ready? Give you a countdown. Three, two, one. Christy Wright. And uh, she was uh, promoting her event book and event tonight. Uh, Take back your time. She wrote the way. She's got a live stream shortly with Dave. All right. Let's check on the chat before we do the uh, did the market report righty love dr. D we all love dr. D AJ sorry that he did not write the other lyrics we'll work on that perhaps I do not have a song for George Camel perhaps one will uh, avail itself Thanks, Flash. Uh, Tina muted. There you go. Market report, you can unmute, right? I got you. All right. Ernie, how many of you guys are actually singing the stuff with me? Just, that's my own poll. That's my own, uh, my own survey. I want to give you guys... You guys actually singing? If those of you that watch it later, if you if you actually sing with me, since I put the words up, if you actually take the time to sing uh, and are jazzed about it, or you're not jazzed about it, but you sing anyway, uh, put that in the comments. I'm very interested about that. Because singing along, that would be something that I would do if I was just watching and not doing it. All right. That's what she said. Um... As you can see, uh, and I think the, I think all of the indexes did this. Um, Nasdaq got even. I mean, got a little little uh, little uh, up today. But as you can see, this is today. Just from today's, 
Uh, it started lower than yesterday and uh, tried to get up there and then it struggled and then finally it started made a push to get like even and you can see it got even higher uh, but then it, then it came back down some towards the end and if we let's look at the uh, Dow one and that stayed uh, that went lower actually than yesterday even as you can see it's kind of the same where it came back up right about uh, 3 13 p.m. Eastern time and then it kind of petered out there at the end and so they all probably did that all right AJ Bob's his head AJ you could probably uh, play the uh, baby steps song on your guitar couldn't you that would be fun to do a uh, perhaps a duet sometime can you can you can you play that can you do the Ed Sheeran music sir uh, gets in Tina's head a little bit during the day. Well, I appreciate that. I like any kind of attention. Almost any kind of attention. Let's put it that way. Oh, IJ's up 40 on the day. Got to run, workout, quiz for school, dinner. Then football. Washington football team. That's right. Feed Gibson. That's my 24 jersey. I did not buy a Gibson jersey. This is Champ Bailey jersey, but the same number. So, yeah. AJ's gonna look into uh, being able to play the music, and then uh, and then uh, maybe they maybe they definitely won't copyright claim me if I have somebody live playing it. But I don't know. We'll see. That would be really fun though. AJ, I'm glad I thought of that. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's look around the world, shall we? Uh, everything up in Europe right now. Asia mixed, mostly down. The currencies normally when you're, um, or a lot of times I won't say normally because I can't back that up, but uh, a lot of times it seems like that's how I give myself the uh, the room to be wrong. Uh, a lot of times when the when the uh, market is down, it seems like the dollar goes up. So as you can see, dollar up on the euro, dollar up on the yap, up on the British pound, love. Uh, dollar up on the Canadian dollar, eh? And uh, dollar also up on the Australian dollar, mate. And uh, that's fun. Fun to do accents. Fun to do accents and sing. Uh, and crypto was all down today, it looks like. And it did not say just people it's sluggish. There was a let's see down 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 wow 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 there was a link about it earlier that said something about like there was good earnings reports or I mean good job reports this week, um but still went down so the name of the song is called Love Yourself. And it's uh, by, if you want to listen to the same music, is... Oh, I don't have that handy. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll give that to you. But, I mean, basically, it's all the, it's all the same. But the, the karaoke one that I use may be, like, the easiest to pick out, maybe. But it's uh, Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. Ed Sheeran wrote it, though. Uh, what else were we going to look at? Uh, so the NASDAQ was the only thing, only index that was up today. Um, and as you can see, representative of the NASDAQ are, the, are these most followed stocks. And as you can see, Microsoft and the Amazon and Tesla are up. And Facebook. Uh, Alphabet, which is Google, and Apple were down slightly. Actually, uh, Alphabet um, a little bit over a uh, half a percent down. All right. Oh, yeah, this one from CNBC. Dow falls but closes well off intraday lows. 
ahead of seasonally weak trading period. Yeah, and so that's I did read that earlier that uh, September is usually weak. Going into the going into the Halloween, it is seasonally weak. Um, but well off intraday low. Oh, oh, well off intraday lows. Do you remember that big dip that I showed you? Uh, where is it? There and yeah, the big dip right here, where it, where it would be down. Right in there, that's what they're talking about it, meaning it it recovered from that during the day. All right, uh, stock futures flat, as and that's a uh, futures are about tomorrow, um, and they're flat as investors mean ca remain cautious about September. Is there anything else on the... Yep, sorry. Sorry, Tina. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I went to the Dow. Okay, so... Uh, rank double cheeseburgers from five fast food chains. All right. Anybody want to guess what number one was? I don't know. Are you gonna Are you gonna include five? I guess Five Guys would still be a fast food. I guess, but that's probably if it's a chain. That's probably what I'm gonna pick. Uh, any thoughts before I click on it? A double cheeseburger. Let's see. White Castle, Wendy's, and I don't know who that one is. I don't know what that one is. I'm gonna click on it. And the cheapest burger blew the person away that wrote this. This would be Aaron McDowell. And this on the insider.com. Yes, I'm using it. Oh, no. Maybe I can't read it. I won't be able to read it. Oh, what a gif. I'm sorry. That's a horrible tease I did there, isn't it? All right. But I would say, I don't, I, anybody know what that one is? Because I don't know what that one is. Right there. That um, So the Wendy's or the White Castle. And they're talking about the cheapest one. The cheapest one I would probably be White Castle. Out of those anyway. Let's see if there's any other stories. Again, not much time. Busy, busy, busy at the computer store today. Uh, and not time, enough time to prepare. Uh, Pennsylvania consumers warned about student loan forgiveness scams. I guess they're, well, let's find out. This from uh, WGAL, which is a local. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that either. But they'll still let me read it because they're a nice local uh, website for uh, a uh, TV station there. My chair slipped down again. Um, Department of, Pennsylvania Department of Banking and Securities and the Department of Education are warning of a surge in student loan forgiveness scams as COVID-19 pandemic has caused financial struggles for many borrowers who are now seeking relief. Uh, students or borrowers who receive an email, letter, or call about student loan debt forgiveness are advised to pause before sending or confirming any personal information or just not do it at all instead of pause. But yeah, I mean, and this is on anything where you get any kind of, of contact at all. Like they said, email, uh, snail mail letter, or a phone call. Uh, any time you get anything about that, it has anything at all to do with money. Be skeptical. Absolutely. Scammers often obtain student loan information illegally. And other, you know, it's not, this is great because this is not limited to this. Um, so this could be about anything. They, they get information about you illegally, your email address, whatever. Um, and just because someone has information about your loans doesn't mean they should be trusted and doesn't mean, yeah, absolutely, doesn't mean they're legit. Doesn't mean they should know about them, but 
uh, research the company, right? So, like, if I mean, even if say uh, a company that you like, your I mean, like the the uh, electric company, if they call you and saying you owe money, et cetera, et cetera, or I mean, if you get an email, um, or even a letter, um, and it, it gives you a phone number in there, don't use that one. Go to the website. Was that in and out? Uh, uh, by, uh, uh, let me finish this, and then I'll then I'll get to the chat. Got almost got distracted, didn't I? Um, but yeah, go to the website and get the uh, contact phone number from there instead of uh, just relying on some on some email, which could easily be faked. And do your due diligence, check what program is being offered to you. If it's, yeah, if it's like they say, oh, it's a government program we can get you into. And if they offer to enroll you in programs like CARES Act Loan Forgiveness or the Biden Forgiveness Program, which don't exist. So that kind of thing. So check it. If they actually mention what program it is, um, definitely do that. You verify the email address. Um, in, in this case, ensure that emails being sent to you about your student loans are from a government email address. Those can be fake, though. Uh, be aware of what legitimate programs will and won't ask you for. Proceed with caution before sharing any of your sensitive, sensitive or financial information like social security number or credit and bank information. If in doubt, hang up and call your servicer directly. Exactly. You don't. You don't go. You don't go by like whoever contacted you. You don't go by that. You contact your people. Your uh, that you have the account with, in you know uh, the other way that you would if you needed something from them. And again, you pause. And so, state officials also provide advice on what to do if you suspect you have been scammed. Close account. Stop payment. Uh, alert your servicer meaning who you have the loan or account with. Uh, monitor your credit report. Check for suspicious activity. They don't always use your information right away. It can be weeks, months, or even years before your information is used for fraudulent activity. You also might also consider freezing your credit. Uh, report the scam. You can report a student loan forgiveness scam to the Federal Trade Commission and the Pennsylvania Attorney General. All right, let's see. Um, Tina says, so we go from tacos to cheeseburger in the food discoveries with Steve's segment of our show. It just happened to be on the finance page, Tina. I guess if, you know, and if food is on there, I guess it's, uh, although food, you know, the food industry is big finance, so, um, yeah, so, the king of Shiva. It's, you know, it's, I mean, we know Tina's in charge. It's probably a, uh, a title, you know, anyway. <laughs> it's probably just, you know, just a, uh, was it just like a figurehead there? Um, I, I like White Castle, too. I don't get it that much, though. Um, Taco Bell or Taco, we do not have a Taco John's in the Ohio that I know of. There's definitely none in Columbus uh, that I've seen, anyway. But I don't think so. They, my daughter enjoys them. They do have them in the state up north. And uh, I mean, I don't know if that's in, that's in and out that one burger. So not the best. No, no, no. It said uh, I don't remember what it said. No. White Castle good, but Crystals is better. Never heard of Crystals. Uh, Tina Share is going to go with the BK double cheeseburger, Wendy's double stack, McDonald's, Shake and Shack. Oh, Shake Shack double. Uh, we do not have Shake Shack here. Either double cheese slider from the White Castle in order from worst to best. The author tried. Oh! Oh, interesting. I thought you were going uh, best to best to worst. All right, I did. You must have. Uh, you oh, you might not. Oh, because you didn't have an ad blocker on, probably. 
so you were able to read what they did try. So the Shake Shack, Shake Shack might be the um, that green uh, logo that I saw. Uh, Clay said Crystals is only in the south. All right. So that's good. But yeah, so uh, like I said, I have not had the Taco John's, but uh, my uh, daughter like does like them. Right, that's from the article. Yeah, I figured it out, Tina. I figured it out. Oh, she doesn't have a an ad block on there, so she was able to read it. All right. Okay, so let's see. Uh, anything else? Apple's next big technology was absent at the iPhone 13, and what is it? The Tim Cook says he's still a fan of what? Did not reveal a next big thing. Apple has emphasized augmented reality in previous years, but the technology only made a brief appearance at the launch presentation. But CEO Tim Cook is still bullish. In an interview published after the event, he said he is AR fan number one. Augmented reality. And... Which is a term for a collection of technologies that use advanced cameras and modern chips to be able to understand where our objects are in relation to the user and place computer graphics or information over a screen showing the real world. So there you go. Fun time. It'll be fun times for the kids in the future, I'm sure, with that. It'll be better than uh, virtual reality, probably. All right. I did oh I didn't bring my drink okay I think I can make it through the rest of the show though um, my drink is in the fridge it was a little rush getting home and starting the show um, this was a link earlier that I did actually pre prepare and when I mean prepare I mean I got the link because it's now gone from the uh, Google finance page there uh, but it is index funds are one of the easiest one of the or one of the easiest way to invest. Come on, CNBC. I it would be I would work for uh, well not that not that cheaply, but uh, you know I mean you got to have somebody um, check these things. Easiest way is uh, to invest. Here's how they work. And index investing allows you to put money in the largest U.S. companies with low fees and minimal risk. Again, uh, Dave Ramsey and myself um, recommend managed mutual funds for retirement. Uh, he does recommend an S&P 500 index fund if you are saving for a purchase and are able to have that money in the market for at least five years. If you can't wait five years then do not put it in the market for uh, saving for a purchase because it could be down. It's uh, Historically, it is up every five-year period since the beginning of time. Alrighty, so, but uh, but while we uh, don't, this still will tell you, we'll give you more information. And also, here's the other thing. If you try to get an ESP, uh, ESP a Smart Vester Pro, and um, they won't work with you because you don't have enough uh, money yet to invest and you want to start investing and you don't know anything about it and you're scared to try to pick managed mutual funds, by all means, do an index fund. By all means. I have friends that do them and we're still friends. Um, absolutely. But anyway, uh, let's see. Pilling people shy away from investing because of fear. Right. And that's why you, you shouldn't do it. If you're scared, at least do the index fund. At least. In fact, a survey from Ally Invest found that 65% of adults say they find investing whoops, in the stock market to be scary and or intimidating. Whether it's the concern you'll make a bad investment or lose money or lack of access to quality investing advice, at the end of the day, that fear is holding you back 
from re really growing your net worth. Uh, the good news is there are many easy ways to invest. You don't have to worry about picking individual stocks and hiring an expensive advisor isn't always necessary. One of the easiest thing, ways to get started investing is through index funds. And that is absolutely. Index funds are investment funds that will follow a benchmark index, such as the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ 100. When you put money in an index fund, that cash is then used to invest in all the companies that make up the particular index, which gives you a more diverse portfolio than if you were buying individual stocks. That is your less uh, risk. Uh, let's use the S&P 500 as an example. The S&P 500 is one of the major indexes that tracks the performance of the 500 largest companies in the U.S. Uh, and that's why that's a, not a bad deal if you're, if you're not doing anything else and you can't figure out what else to do. That's why that's not a bad, bad deal. It's the 500 largest companies in the U.S. They got to be the 500 largest companies in the U.S. by doing something right. So investing in them uh, isn't that bad a deal. Clay like Shake Shack, all right. They open one, two minutes from work. Tina Sher says you got to be able to ride the coaster when you invest. Some people can't handle that. Clay says slow and steady wins the retirement race. All correct, all correct. Uh, because the goal of, did I read that part already? Yeah, the, because the goal of index fund is to mirror the same holdings of whatever index they track. They are naturally diversified and thus hold a lower risk than individual stock holdings. Market indexes tend to have good track records too. Though the S&P 500 certainly fluctuates, as we've seen, it has historically generated a nearly 10% average annual return over time for investors. Just remember that future returns are not guaranteed. Look, now this is somebody else that says 10% other than Dave. Uh, a lot of people will only give it like uh, seven or eight because they want to factor in any costs or inflation or whatever else they want to, uh, you know, or be just pessimistic view. Uh, so this is somebody else that says ten, nearly 10%. So um, just remember future returns not guaranteed, right? Of course not. Index investors don't need to actively manage the stocks and bonds investment as closely since the fund is just copying a particular index. Uh, the S&P 500 would not be any bonds. It's, it's all stocks. This is why index funds are known as passive investing. And it's what sets them apart from mutual funds. Mutual funds are not true. Index funds are mutual funds, but... Anyway, actively managed by fund managers who choose your investments. The goal with mutual funds is to beat the market. Uh, while the goal with index funds is to simply match the market performance. Uh, since index funds don't require daily human management, they have lower management costs called expense ratios than mutual funds. The money saved in fees by investing in an index fund over a mutual fund can save you lots of money in the long term and in turn help you make more money. Common strategy for many investors who have a long investment timeline is to regularly invest money into an S&P 500 index fund known as dollar cost averaging and watch their money grow over time. Right, which you do in... You should do that in anything you're investing in. If you're following the baby steps, that's a steady investment into uh, your retirement. Uh, get started in index investing with a brokerage account. Some of the top index funds are those that track the S&P 500 and have low costs. For example, Charles Schwab is a brokerage. So you could open it there. A straightforward option with no investment minimum. A lot of them have no no investment minimums. So you could start with $1 if that's all you had. Uh, also, at this point, I'll interject that you should not be doing the investing until you are at baby step four, which means you have paid off your all your debt and you have a three to six months 
emergency fund of expenses, three to six months of expenses, emergency fund saved up. And then you're ready to ready to go with that investing. Um, the expense rate here for Charles Schwab's is 0.02%, meaning every 10,000 invested costs $2 annually. So not a lot. Passive or index funds generally have a 0.2% expense ratio, so this is notably low. Okay, So they're saying theirs are, are lower than um, generally. So not all of them would have this much, but they're saying generally has that much. Uh, for an option with no expense ratio, consider the fidelity, as this guy on a video I watched the other day said. He, I don't know if that the British say it that way. I don't know, but anyway, he kept saying fidelity. Uh, consider the fidelity zero large cap index. Though the fund doesn't technically track the S and P 500, the fidelity U.S. large cap index tracks large capitalization stocks, which the website says are considered to be stocks of the largest 500 U.S. companies. So basically, pretty much. So not, not a hundred percent. A, an S&P 500 index fund, but pretty much. So, and that's a uh, Fidelity Zero. They have funds that uh, they don't cost anything. Or at least not, to, you know, not to get, they still have um, uh, some probably expenses, but they don't have any, like, to be, begin, they don't have any front load stuff. Uh, to invest in an index fund or even a managed mutual fund, you need to open a brokerage account, a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA. You can often choose to invest in index funds through your employer's 401k too, if they offer it. Once your account is open and funded, you can choose from a number of different index funds like S&P 500 fund, fund that tracks government bonds. Dave Ramsey does not recommend bonds or a fund that tracks its international stocks. Dave does recommend 25% in international, uh, in an international mutual fund, in a, also in the other three would be in small, mid, and large cap. So 25, that's four, so 25% in each equals that 100% that you are investing. Uh, they're saying use a robo-advisor, Oh, that was it. So, robo-advisors automatically rebalance your portfolio based on market conditions and have much lower fees than traditional financial advisors. So, again, if you're not doing anything, everything that they said to do there, uh, you know, fine, other than the bond thing. Uh, chat is a little slow tonight, Clay. AJ had to bounce earlier. You didn't see where he said he was going to bounce. He said it was going to bounce before we talked about the um, him uh, learning uh, the Baby Steps song on the guitar. And then we could do a live version. Wouldn't that be cool? All right. Um, don't have anything else. What time is it? 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's check the news, see if we have some non, uh, non-political stuff. Biden's coughing, so it makes the news. Mm -hmm. Oh, political on this side. There's some more about Cry Macho. Uh, oh no, this was the same thing from yesterday. It's been a slow news day if it doesn't change in 24 hours. Uh, developers propose Hollywood office tower with bold design. Interesting. Uh, women are half of the new gun buyers. Supermarkets already stockpiling holiday items. 
Yeah, we have been, it's been crazy. At Menards, we've been getting in, we got like the first Halloween uh, item in, and um, we didn't put it out on the floor yet, but we did receive it from the uh, distribution warehouse. Um, when was that? That was, I want to say, I think May, we got the first one. And yeah, and we've already gotten a ton, ton of Christmas stuff already. Like already, in, I think we got the first Christmas uh, item in June already. So, I think they're just trying to. I think they're just trying to get stuff uh, to places uh, as quick as they can. So you know, just so in case there's shipping problems later. You can see Adblock Plus uh, trying to stop some of the ads, but some of them it doesn't. New Balance. I've had some of those before. I've, I was a big New Balance fan before I went to Skechers. Uh, as workers age, robot take on more jobs. Oh, Sears shutting the last store in home state of Illinois. I thought they were already all shut down. Uh, retail sales unexpectedly rise. Yeah, that was that was part of the news too that came out and and still uh, market at a rough time. Uh, stock market undergoing slow motion deterioration with pockets of shares down twenty percent or more. All right. Tom Brady thinks he can play until he's fifty. Doesn't find it so difficult. All right. Well, he's probably in decent shape too. Uh, let's see. Cards. I guess there's vaccination cards required for some indoor businesses on Maui. Uh, one in six, according to a survey from somewhere, which I'm not, not going to click on. One in six will quit job if not allowed to work from home. Jay-Z, NFT feud. I don't know what that's about. Fun story about a 101-year-old uh, young lady. I'll just say young lady. Um, still hauling lobsters with uh, no plans to stop. Lord Lover. Lucid beats Tesla going 520 miles on, I guess, one charge. During utility bills in Europe. I haven't, I haven't noticed them going up here in the Ohio. Alrighty. Yep, you're right. Clay chat. Clay is right. The chat is very slow. And that'll happen. Uh, especially when I'm not as prepared and have stuff to talk about and I have to Google stuff to talk about. Oh, um. We can do the Deloney song again. Uh, here's a. Uh, I need to look up, um. Ohio. State fact. So, um, 
but yes, though, the as uh, AJ pointed out, ball tonight, it is the New York football giants at the Washington football team representing. And I still get to wear this one with no problem whatsoever because it is a knockoff jersey. And so you don't see, you know, it doesn't have Redskins written anywhere. It doesn't have a Redskins uh, logo anywhere on it. It just has the col right colors, the right uh, number design, and the player's name on the back, which was a, a cornerback back in the day, Champ Bailey. Uh, but uh, right now it's the starting running back, Antonio Gibson, who was great in fantasy last year, should be in this year. Fumbled on his own uh, three uh, last week. That cost him the game, but uh, I still like him. Um, where did I go last time? Where I Was that Awesome America? I said I was going to come back to it. Yeah, I think so. Oh, let's see, what can we look at today? And the Ohio, 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 fact, 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 fact of the day, 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 day. Oh, Ohio Covered Bridge Gallery, why not? The Ohio fact of the day is that we have covered bridges here. It's always interesting when it's like like that. It doesn't um, it doesn't really look like it's going over like water or swamp or anything. I don't know. Right there, it may be. I don't know, but it's like why why is that there? <laughs> why is that needed? Just to look nice, maybe. Oh, there's the yeah, there's the other side of it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem that doesn't seem necessary, but. I mean, maybe they just wanted it to look pretty. I don't know anything about uh, that kind of stuff. All right, so that's that one. We'll get a couple more, and then we'll call it Japanese Garden Bridge. That's nice. And, I mean, I guess maybe that, that looks like that could have been water under there at one time. I don't know. Check the other photos with it. I guess I should appreciate the aesthetics of it instead of trying to think of a reason for it to be there. Uh, yeah, I mean, see with the rock right there and stuff, maybe it was just, maybe the terrain right there was just, they didn't want to drive over it, so they built the bridge. Alrighty, so I guess that'll be it. Why doesn't it show my... Well, I guess because I'm live, it doesn't show my banner. It just it just shows the live thing. Alright, well, um, what it says right here, which you can't see, really. Thanks, Clay. Uh, they are, even without their starting quarterback, with the backup quarterback... Uh, granted, he did uh, help them uh, get within eight points of the Super Bowl championship books in the wild card game last year. Even with the backup quarterback, they are three point favorites, I think, to win tonight. So, let's see. I was trying to look for somewhere where you could see it better. But anyway, right there it says. Make smart financial decisions every day. Oh, I didn't do uh, upcoming streams. Uh, what's tomorrow? Friday, there might be a uh, father-daughter video gaming. We're definitely going to uh, see if we can make the game work, whether we'll have time after that to actually uh, play for a bit. Uh, if we have like 30 minutes or so, we'll still go ahead and, and, and do that. Uh, just because we haven't done one in so long. So, Father Daughter Video Gaming, possibly tomorrow. This show, it's I might be busy for at uh, the computer store for another week or two, maybe. So, some of the shows may be delayed. 
Uh, tomorrow will not be. Tomorrow, because I'm off at 5 uh, p.m. Eastern Time, it will still be at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, right after the Ramsey Show video ends. Um, yeah, and uh, I finally, uh, this weekend, might do some, some other uh, videos again that I've been threatening to do. I was going to do one last night, but at the uh, last minute I decided, ah, I'll just go to bed instead. So, that's right, that's right, Tina. What up, Spring? That's right, and we'll all be, we'll all be happy when Bella's back, Tina. Absolutely, we will. Uh, and I still need to replay, um, um, get a rematch with Bella's boyfriend and Matt in, after he kicked my butt. And that, I need to rematch on that. Which you can find in the video gaming uh, channel is right there. Uh, some early access I did when I got early access to it by uh, just being a member of EA Play Pro, which is a hundred dollars. Which if you were going to buy two of EA slash Origin video games, uh, that would pay for that hundred dollars. That would be actually one hundred twenty because most video games are sixty bucks today. These days. Um, the father-daughter video gaming crud. I always do that. I always click to click. I'm clicky, 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 clicky. Uh, the it takes uh, two. It took us 13 streams, but we did a full playthrough of it takes two, which is a fabulous uh, co-op game. Uh, there's Bella right there. You can see her right there. Let's take a look at her by popular demand. Come on. Come on, there she is. There she is, right there. Come on, load, load, there it is. All right. So, there she is right there, and there's me. All right. And so, as I said, tech support, uh, Ramsey coach support. If you can, I uh, will accept um, submissions for a different name for uh, Ramsey coach support or financial coach support. I will accept different names for that um, to see if, oh, I guess we could do, what time is it? Uh, I guess we could do it really quickly uh, just to show you how that would go. That would go exactly like this. Go to Reddit. Come on. Come on. Where is Anthony O'Neill? Even on the Reddit. Even on the Reddit. Two discovery card applications in one week. Spring, I have a video to show you what to do with those if you haven't seen it. It's in my financial playlist. Um, where's Anthony O'Neill? It's spelled incorrectly O N E A L. And uh, there you go. So. That's awesome. Oh, so let's sort by new. And this is exactly how I do with, uh, are those ads? Oh, just was taking this time to, whoops. That is, those are the, for the uh, tech support. This is for the uh, slash tech support um, subreddit. So how you get to, this one is r slash tech support and how you get to the other one is uh, uh, reddit.com slash r slash uh, Dave Ramsey. Come on. Okay, so let's work by it. Sort by new. Uh, I guess in three hours that is going to be the new one. All right. The Ramsey solutions, uh, better personalities could be themselves. What if I get in my ear? Um, hear, H-E-R-E, -E, hear me out before freaking out. 